Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Cami's Craftiques. My name is Cami. I'd like to start off with thanking anyone who has watched any of my videos and uh, anyone who subscribed, anyone who is new and is watching my videos also. If you could please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, and also hit the bell. This way you will be notified anytime I do do a new video. I greatly would appreciate it. So today what I am attempting to do is recreate a sign that I saw at Pier 1 on their website. It was a Christmas sign that I saw the other night and they were asking the price of $39.99 for this sign. And when I looked at the sign, I was like, $39.99 is a lot to spend just on a Christmas sign. And I thought about it and thought about it, and I was like, I could recreate that sign for much less. And that's what I am about to do. Um, you're going to see some of it that I already started because I had some technical difficulties with my camera, but I will talk about how I got to that point. So what you're going to need for this project is two long Dollar Tree signs. I used um, two of these fall signs. I popped off the Happy Fall. I butted my two signs together and then I used um, like wooden slats. It was from the, the Pumpkins Dollar Tree, the Stand Up Pumpkins Dollar Tree had. That's what I used, but normally I would use like popsicle sticks just to hot glue them on to reinforce that sign. So that's what you will need. I'm not gonna show you how to do that. That's pretty much simply said enough. Um, the other items you will be using is these I also bought from Dollar Tree. They're the poster signs and it's this font that I chose. Okay, I did buy, I, I am using two for this project only because one of some of the letters I used more than once and one just didn't cut it. Um, this I got at Dollar General and I only paid a dollar for this. This is just the window cling. I will be using this top sign and I will be using this truck here. So originally I was going to stencil the letters and then I remembered I had those stickers. So if you don't have the stickers and you can stencil it, or you could even freehand, you know, the, the verbiage, you know, you, you do it the way you like to do it, you know? So the other thing you will need is a black Sharpie. I didn't have a Sharpie. I just, you know, used a black, um, it's from Lowe's, just a black felt marker. I also you will be using the Apple Barrow Antique Parchment which I already painted my sign, but this is what I used for the sign. Um, I have out Tutorial Beige, also by Apple Crate, Apple Barrel, not Apple Crate. Um, I have Burnt Umber out, also uh, by Apple Barrel. Yeah, Apple Barrel. And I don't know if I'm gonna use the Jet Black, but I do have it out just in case. And then this was called Craft Smart. I'm not so sure where I got this. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was Hobby Lobby or Michaels, or it could have even been Walmart. And that is color, where's the color? Golden Brown. So I'm not so sure which of these colors I will be using, but I will be using them. I have my brush, which you can see I just started using it. Um, also decoupage. I don't have decoupage, so I will be using some Elmer's white glue and some water. I figured maybe about two thirds glue, a third water, mix it up and I'll be using that as the decoupage. If you have Mod Podge, by all means go and you know, use your Mod Podge. I just don't have any on hand, so I figured this will work out for me just as well. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna Pause you for a minute. I'm going to reset my camera. This is where my problems happened before. Hopefully we, you know, it, it's a smooth transition this time. Oops, one more thing that you're going to need. Um, I am using 
these strips i got these off of one of my dollar tree signs from easter i believe they were on somebody loves you and on the welcome to my patch signs so i have four i think i could get away with using three we'll see i'm gonna have to cut them though so we'll see how that goes if you don't have this metal i figured you could use popsicle sticks in place of it and just paint it or you could do a border just make it your own i'm just you know recreating something that i saw and with things i already had on hand um so with that i am going to reposition the camera and what i am going to start doing is shading my sign let me see if i could do it without so much disrupting things okay i'm gonna try it this way last time i hit pause and i had a problem it was more of the user. It wasn't so much technical difficulties. You see my fan in the background? That's because I get hot and I dry my floors and stuff. But anyway. Okay, so basically you could see my sign. Um, what I did so far was I used the antique parchment. I painted the entire sign. Then I just got, I used a, lev uh, a lever, level, a level. And I just created lines. How I went about the lines was I did my first line down the seam of where the two signs were butted together. I did it first with a pen and I didn't like exactly, it was too thin. I felt like it needed to be a little darker. And then from there, I just kind of eyeballed other slats because I don't want it to be perfect because this is supposed to be a rustic sign. So now I'm at the point of, I don't know if you could see this so well, I am getting some paint for shading. I'm going to shade around the entire, all the edges. Um, and I'm using the tutorial beige. So I have a little bit of it. And what I do is I pretty much brush it off. And... Oh boy, I just dropped it, so hold on. Okay, so I'm back. So you're gonna get bloopers and all with me on a video. Okay, so what I'm basically doing is just, I'm trying to just give the edges a little shading, okay? So could we see that? Okay. So I get pretty much almost like a dry brush and I'm just shading it, okay? Okay, maybe you're gonna be able to see this better. Yeah, so all I'm doing is shading So you're pretty much doing it with the br dry brush. And you know what? There's no wrong or right. And you're just going to keep going on shading. Sometimes less is more in spots, and that's okay. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just lightly going around the edges of my sign. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, okay? There you go. I mean, it doesn't look like much right now, but it all comes together at the end, the final project, okay? And it's a little hard. I mean, you would be not holding it up like I am. And if you realize, I only loaded my brush so far twice. So there's not much on my brush right now. Okay. So I'm even going up further. Okay. So I'm first doing all my edges. Going back and forth. This is like the hardest part of this. The rest of this 
project is going to be very simple because it's going to be Mod Podge. So here we go. I had some on here already. I just want to add a little bit more. So now I'm going kind of in a different direction because my brush is almost dry. Okay. Now I'm going kind of like up and down, just trying to kind of smudge it in. Okay. I know it's hard to see, and I'm going to pick up a little more paint, and I'm going to... Now, I'm going to try to soften up my black edges. You see how I'm doing that? So I'm just trying to dab in a little more paint. I, uh, I load my brush very lightly, then I take most of my paint off. Now again, over this black line, very light, very light, like a light dry, air, dry brush. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to like age the wood and give it a little definition. Because when you look at this from afar, this is going to definitely give it a little definition. And then I am just randomly load my brush a little bit more. And again, this is with the tutorial, territorial beige. Okay, let's get that down a little bit. So what I'm doing is making this piece of wood old. I'm so could you actually see all of that? So what I'm doing, I'm just aging the wood a little bit. Going back and forth pretty much with a dry brush. Okay. Let's see if I could get that back a little bit. So you can see it a little bit better. Move this. All I'm doing, okay, I'm using really a dry brush. Okay, now I'm going to just open my burnt umber. And I'm going to add a little bit of that to my sign. If I could open up the top, I'll, I'll do it. Okay, there we go. So I'm only adding like a drop and I'm going to mix it with what I had already okay now the black in there was already dry so I'm mixing really burnt umber and um, territorial brown so I'm just trying to wipe a lot of it off now I have a piece of cardboard over here. I'm really wiping off my brush to have barely, hardly anything really on it. And again, I'm just going to brush up and down. I'm just trying to create an aged effect of wood. And, and there's no wrong or right way of doing this. Just, just do it. Don't be afraid. Just 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 go out and do it because I remember the first time I you know a few times I did this I was thinking oh boy I'm gonna ruin this and then I realized there is no way to ruin ruin it, it it's your own so I'm gonna dab again into that mixture of paint I'm taking off some paint and again I'm just I'm just creating a weathered piece of wood I'm a little sorry that I didn't, I, I used a black marker. So I'm gonna try to soften up those lines a little bit here. So I'm getting more of the burnt umber. Okay. 
Now, the sign is going to be for Christmas trees. So, you know, think about it. Back in the farm days, rustic days, they don't have a brand new sign. They have something that's weathered looking. So now I'm going to just go across my top edges. Remember where I first was going with that lighter color? Well, now I'm doing the dark color. And I'm, see like over here, I, I hit, that's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. So I'm trying to soften up that light color now. All right, there I got too much. You can see where I made a mistake over here. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it because it makes it look more natural. Okay? Just have fun with what you're doing. Okay? Now, I'm going to go down over here. Just... And these... If you look, this deeper, color, like blob of paint, I'm calling it a blob, but stroke of paint, that could be like a knot. Okay. So I just want to try to soften up these, these black lines I did. I'm, the one thing I'm going to say, if I had a brown marker, I probably would have been better off using a brown marker, but I didn't have a brown I thought the black would be okay, but it's all right. Okay. Okay, so we're done with the paint, okay? So I'm gonna move that away. And now, let me see if I could maybe put this on this side. All right, so now pretty much we're going to be assembling, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball things right now. We're going to put that about there. We're going to have to cut that probably in half. We're going to go there. All right, I'm going to cut one of these in half. I'm going to try to do this with my scissor. So... I want to kind of get in half. Oh, wow. That was super easy. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, it's a little short, but you know what? It's going to have to do. So I'm going to save my extra one for another time. So I'm not going to glue anything quite down yet. I'm just going to... I'm like amazed how easy that came off. Um, I'm just going to line them up best I can. And like I said, it's a rustic sign, so it's not going to be perfect. Okay? So what I'm doing is, could you see this? I hope it's all in the frame. I don't think it is. Well, let's raise you up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now you can see. So, yeah. So you can see the top or the bottom, whichever. And you can see how I'm doing this sign. So my next step is I'm going to do the placement. Okay, that's going to say Merry Christmas. I think I'm going to do it like this, though. I think I'm going to cut that off. Okay. Okay, so I'm trying to adjust this a little bit better so that everything is in this frame. I didn't realize how large this sign was. It is going to take a little bit more height. 
So let's see. All right. Okay, so basically, I know you can't see the whole McCoy, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be attaching this metal and the bottom metal. Okay, let me see if I can move this a little bit more. Okay. Okay, okay, I think that's a little bit better. So I think I'm gonna have to like work this upside down for you all to see what I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna glue that, right? And we're gonna stick on these letters. We're gonna do, give me an F. And I'm not gonna press them down all the way because I'm trying to work upside down. And I don't, being that I'm working upside down, I, I, I need to get them straight so I'm going to just show you how I'm doing this part. F-A-R. I don't think I could fit the whole form fresh. So we might have to change it up just a tad. Maybe we'll do it like this. Maybe we'll do form like this. Whoa, these are really stuck. I'm not worried about it though, because I feel like I could get it off. Yeah, I got it. So I would say don't press down until you pretty much know where you want the placement. I'm just trying to show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, so we're gonna do farm, and then right underneath we're gonna do fresh. So I'm gonna pause this so I could kind of put these letters on. So I'll be right back. Okay, so right now where I'm at, I glued down these strips. I put on the farm, the farm fresh, and now I'm getting ready to do the truck. I think what I'm going to do, I decided to cut off the Merry Christmas on that, but what I'm really amazed at, I pretty much with the colors I did, matched up the background of what the window cling was. So I'm just pretty much going to center it. I think I'm going to cut that off and use this farm fresh sign. And then I'm going to write the word trees over here. So if you want to be patient and I mean, you could get your stuff together, but that is how I am going to do it. So I'm going to wrap it up. I'm just very sorry that my camera isn't capturing the full sign and I had to stop and pretty much work without you being able to see, but all I was doing was sticking on my letters and I just glued down, you know, these strips. So I'm going to come back in a minute. I'm just going to cut the Merry Christmas part out and I'm going to secure down my tree. Okay, so there you have it. All I did next was I made, make, made my own mixture of Mod Podge with a little Elmer's glue, any white glue would do. 
with water. I cut the bottom of the sign, which said, um, I think it said, Merry, yeah, Merry Christmas. And I used this uh, Farm Fresh Christmas trees. And there you have it. So this sign pretty much costs $2 for the sign, even if you use, include both packages of letters, which you'll have more to use. That was $2, a dollar for these decals. So that's two, four, five dollars for this sign. And I think it came out pretty awesome. So I will include a picture of the original sign, but I have to say I'm really pleased about this. Again, if you'd like to see more projects like this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Bye.